What's up, everybody? Welcome to a very special video where we are doing a reaction video to um, a video done by Ryan McDonald, who is a Mars One candidate. This is the guy who might be might actually be going to right. Mars on the Mars One mission. Uh, it was a reaction video to him discussing how the 68 days that people have been quoting for how long the colonists would last thanks to the MIT paper that came out that we discussed on a previous episode here. You can see it there. Uh, he actually says that that's not going to happen. We agree with him, but we're going to talk about it a little bit right now. Yeah. And you can check out his video right there. So, <laughs> Kevin and I were talking very briefly. We just watched the video. So, Moral of the story, read the entire paper. Yes. <laughs> This is just a moral for any scientific paper reading whatsoever is read the whole thing or at least get to the conclusions. But he's very he's very right uh, in saying that they, the colonists would not die after 68 days because the, the methods that the MIT students used were ignoring some very necessary like, things. Right, like resource production that they would right. have on Mars. Right, yes. And so it wasn't a realistic simulation to begin with. Right. But, I mean, they were kind of doing it to bring up important points about, you know, how... What how, to watch out for. Yeah, how long the resources would last if they, were not be, they weren't able to create more resources there on mm -hmm. Mars. Also, how much it would cost to bring additional resources with them if they needed to avoid the uh, oxygen poisoning situation yeah. that we talked about previously and what other, you know, news websites have picked up on. Now... This is, I mean, yes, it, it could be a problem, but it's not going to happen because, I mean, the Mars people, Mars One group is well aware of this going, yeah. of what they're bringing along, all the technical details that are going into Because it. the problem was uh, eventually having to vent all this excess oxygen uh, because of the plants that they would bring along that would produce it, and then having to replace that lost air from their nitrogen tanks, and then that eventually depleting. Depleting. And what they didn't take into consideration was basically any engineering solution that would have allowed for oxygen actually being stored instead of yes. completely vented. Right. Additionally, um, they, they don't really talk about... I mean, sorry, we didn't talk about how there's also going to be other colonists eventually coming along the mm -hmm. way. So even with the system involved where they will be able to store oxygen, they will still be losing nitrogen over time, but being able to bring in another group of colonists 800 days later or so, that will help, you know, bring they'll bring more supplies with them essentially. Right. And there's also a possibility that besides just creating, you know, producing their products there natively on Mars, there could be just resupply missions that are sent from Earth out to there anyway. Yeah. The point is, the point that we want to get across to everyone out there is that... It is not all doom and gloom. It's not doom and gloom. And I don't know about Kevin, but I mean, I'm pretty sure I can speak for him, maybe. That we want to support this mission. Like, yes. we, we don't want humans to fail. Like, we want, we want science to go further. We want humans to be able to, you know, test the final frontier further. So, we support the Mars One mission, and we hope... Godspeed to all of them, especially Ryan McDonald, that everything goes well. I don't remember when they first they intend to launch, but I think it's it's within ten years, right? Yeah, it's about a decade's time. Right. So uh, I mean, by then you got to think all these kinks will be worked out. The MIT students were really just trying to bring up, just state that there there were limitations if you assumed just pro no production, no you know right. nothing being produced on Mars, and it's an important thing to bring. And that up. won't be the case. That won't be the case. So. It's, a, it's kind of a null point, but it was a fascinating mm -hmm. point that news groups picked up on, blew it out of proportion. We did too, We kind of did too, and I apologize. That was my fault. Mm -hmm. I didn't actually read the paper until just a little while ago. I skimmed through it a bit. Important thing. If you're going to read a scientific paper or not fully read one, at read, least read the conclusions. Read the abstract and the conclusions, and if you don't understand it's things from there, it is 9 o'clock. Then you got to start, <laughs> start skimming things. So just be aware of that in the future. And we want to give, like I said before, Godspeed to Ryan McDonald, and uh, thank you for watching. Yeah, go thanks. watch, go watch his video, and go support his videos too, because he does very interesting videos about the Mars One mission and keeping people up to date on his status in the whole project. So thanks. Yep, thanks. Let's see you out there.